Guys, I found this website of a photographer who shows off their portfolio in such a cool way. The photographer is Bridget Baker and the website is Bridget.pictures. Just look at how creative this effect is. I wanted to learn how to do this. Luckily, this awesome channel called Hyperplexed has a tutorial on this effect. It turns out the code is not too difficult at all, and I learned a lot from replicating it. In this video, I'll explain the outline of the code to you. I first downloaded these 12 images from unsplash.com. We use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to replicate the effect. In the HTML file, we attach the 12 images and give them data index and the data status. The data index is used to cycle through the images, and the data status is used to display and hide the images. We start the CSS file with some stylic choices of the web page. Using the class we gave the images, we set the size and set the position to absolute. With this, the images can appear anywhere on the web page. The transform is added so that the images appear positioned with the mouse cursor centered on the images. The default status of the images are set to hidden. In our JavaScript file, we declare variables to cycle through the images and to track the last mouse position. Defining a function to activate images from being hidden would be useful here. As in Bridges' website, a new image appears when a mouse has traveled a certain distance, so a function to compute the cursor travel distance would be useful here too. Finally, we want to limit the number of images displayed on the screen so we use the inactive pick variable and we set the data status of these images to be inactive. And there we have the effect guys. I hope you found this video interesting. I love finding inspiring effects like this and learning how to do this. I posted an ASMR video of me coding this in real time if you're interested. Otherwise thank you for watching and consider subscribing to the channel to stay in touch with me. See ya!